Welcome back. A few minutes after shooting light now. I think we're going to do a quick hunt today, maybe an hour, see what happens. So, um, hopefully we get some mallards in, seen some mergansers, seen some ringnecks. Just don't know, but, um, wool's one bird. That's usually the goal. And, uh, we'll see what happens. So stay tuned, guys. so far baby holy cow first one looks like a mallard a lot of these came in together so it wouldn't surprise me if they're all mallards one mallard we got a green head here Nice little greeny. Big old green head. That's a stud bird. Nice green head. We got one more, which I think is a mallard too, but I'm not, not positive on. <sighs> Had some neighbors come out and complain yet again, you know. They better not be shooting towards my fucking house. Well. You live on a lake, buddy. A shotgun ain't gonna go that far. It's like 500 yards. No bands. No bands. Three Milardos. Very cool. Probably could have got a fourth one, but everybody and their brother was outside watching. It makes me nervous shooting, so. I don't know why I've got every right to be shooting, so three mallards down. We'll wait and see if we get any anything else to come out, but we got three down. They decoyed so dang good. So good. Just wish it was a little easier to shoot out the left side some. down I mean I could have six probably right now if I had another group it would be even better that's just insane they're working really really good today we just knocked down three birds which is pretty cool I think Not sure how you tell the difference between like a hen mallard and a black duck, but I'm pretty sure that's a hen mallard. And then it looks like we got two drake mallards here. A couple big old drakes. <laughs> Gonna be eating good now. That's awesome. And then last big fat donkey. Pretty colors all all like just blued up and purples. It's gorgeous birds. Gorgeous. Three down. <sighs> See if we can get any more. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen decoys out today. No spinning wing because it is insanely deep over there. And I don't think it's really necessary. 
these birds are trying to go somewhere they feel safe and so that's where they ended up at was right in these decoys no wind today flat flat calm which is i don't know i love duck hunting but i hate all the homeowners that just want to complain about everything i just had one homeowner come out and scream across the lake better not be shooting towards my fucking house well buddy move off the lake i don't know what else to tell you i mean yeah i'm shooting like in the vicinity of your house i'm not gonna hit your house i mean your house is like a freaking mile away where these bb's go like a hundred yards maybe i mean i can't even kill a bird sometimes at like 50 yards let alone do something to your house we had a single come in when i was picking up uh, those birds 100 percent would have knocked it out of the sky i mean it was 25 yard lob i'm just so nervous to be out here because this is the lake i've had some bad interactions on um, i think we'll give it another 45 minutes like we're just going to work into daylight just a little bit once the sun crests over these trees and it's like right in my face no chance these birds come in plus there's only so many birds out here right now northern indiana all these birds have pretty much moved on so i don't know if these are resident birds or not but i'll tell you what they are gorgeous birds very pretty mallards so three down and that is the first three i've ever shot out of the boat mallard wise i've only shot one other duck out of here and it was in this spot a little bit down 50 yards 100 yards down and it was a hooded merganser so i seen some mergansers in here yesterday that's kind of what i was shooting for but um looking for that cool taxidermy piece but three mallards is awesome because now i've got some incredible table fare three mallards down back to hunting the ducks love to come in hot and heavy at first light and then it's slow 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 it's been a minute now probably 20 minutes more two mallards fly over and then we've got one hen hooded merganser that finally poked out but um really hoping for the drake so unless i get a straight up clear shot probably gonna pass on that but um it's slow but that was to be expected it's always hot and heavy for about half an hour and then almost nothing so we'll see if anything else comes in it's really hoping for something unique today gadwall uh, Mergans or something, but three mallards is stupid cool. So we're gonna give another half hour, 45 minutes, and then we'll head out. Another fun little tip, which I think was part of the reason I had such success this morning. Can't bring the birds in, but once they're in, having the decoys split up like that makes a nice landing zone right in the middle. Those birds can land in the middle or darn near around the middle, then they can kind of pick the side they want to go to. So. Making that spot in the middle is really big and pretty key. And then you can put those birds pretty much right where you want them. Oh my. Holy, what in the world? I botched that one. I don't know what I was looking at, but there's a whole shitload of ducks that come in. Probably could have popped off two of them. That's all right. Holy cow, that was crazy. Uh, I don't know, I, I was sleeping on that one, I guess. I think I was messing with my binoculars or something. I probably should have pulled up and tried. I mean, those two mallards are right there in my face. I think there were some gadwalls mixed into that one because I heard some other than some just normal uh, mallard noises. Well, I just called in three geese, but they didn't want to come all the way in. They're out there in the middle. They shorted me.
damn. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There are three honkers out there. It's one of those things. Do you keep calling and risk, uh, you know, flaring them? Or do you kind of get their attention and then just let it die and then... It, I don't have any goose decoys out there right now. I'm not really goose hunting, but... You know, if one lands close enough, I'll take it, but... 7,500 yards? Uh, no chance I could poke from here. I'm gonna say a good hundred, actually. They're out there, but yeah, there's no way. Well, the honkers ended up turning, which is fine. I was kind of hoping they'd swim in. Maybe we could get one or two, but there's really no need to take them or take any risky shots. I bet um, their last chance when they turned, I probably could have got one. But uh, like I said, I'd rather hold out and see if I get any ducks in here. Um, this has been an awesome hunt. I've had lots of action. Um, everything's been pretty good. I wish I wouldn't have botched a couple of chances I had. Uh, there was one I waited on, not sure what landed, and then another one that that big group that came in, I just wasn't paying good enough attention and blew it. Should have poked at it. All right, haven't seen anything for a little bit now. Coming up on 9 a.m., which really isn't that long of a hunt. It's like an hour and a half for a hunt, which is pretty short, but. Got a lot of stuff going on today, so we're just gonna get packed up now. Hopefully, head out of here and be in and out. You know, just a couple hours. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'm sure it was short. Um, we did have some action though. It was pretty neat to see a lot of birds. I um, I checked like five lakes yesterday, and this is the only one that had any action at all on it, which is crazy because some of the other lakes. I mean, I kayaked two, three miles on looking for birds, and I seen zero. And I came out here and the only thing I seen was two mallards and four hooded mergansers. But um, there's a pile of ducks out here somewhere. And they're bouncing around. If we had some more hunters or some boat traffic or something, you know, knocking these birds around a little bit. Holy cow, would this be an insane hunt. But, um, you know, three's not bad. Halfway to a six per, or uh, not a six person, a six duck limit, which is pretty awesome. I'm still scouting a little bit, seeing if we see anything. But, um probably could have easily knocked down four or five but um you know three is pretty cool so i'm still learning a little bit this is like my fourth year doing it but i've got uh, no guidance no help really anything so occasionally bring my brother and my dad out but other than that i'm just learning on my own and off of youtube videos so i feel pretty blessed got my first three mallards out of the boat my first mallards ever out of the boat which is just stupid cool so um, you know from here it's it's only up from here so I'm very excited about this year and um this may be my last duck hunt. Um, it'll, it'll most definitely be my last duck hunt out of the boat this year. We have one week after Christmas, but uh, most of the lakes around here already have ice on them. So two of the lakes I checked yesterday couldn't even access because of ice. So that's why I keep coming back to this one for some reason, even though there's people out here that just do not like me. So hopefully you guys um, have enjoyed this little duck hunt and we will catch you on the next. We might do another jump shoot on the river for some geese or so. But this, like I said, those might be my last three ducks of the season, unfortunately. But we'll see what happens. I do have one duck hunt planned down south in Texas. But until then, we'll catch you. Peace.